All right, welcome back to Whatever Garage and part two of trying to get this motor started. We were delayed with a few problems, as you may remember. We'll recap. Um, dipstick tube broke off. Had to take the oil pan gasket off to get to it. Um, discovered metal shavings in the bottom of the oil pan. And then I had to order a new oil pan gasket. Ordered the wrong one, then had to find the find out which one to order and then order it and it finally came in. But I would like to thank the guys at Summit. They did an excellent job of figuring out which one was for me. I should hope so since I bought the motor from them, right? Okay, now, as for the metal shavings, we're gonna find out today. We're gonna take off the oil filter and cut it open and see if there's oil shavings in the filter. If there is, we might be screwed. Um, I'm thinking, hear me out, I'm thinking it was in the bottom of the pan from when they assembled the motor or maybe when they test started it, I don't know. Do they test start them? I need to go back and double check that uh, and find out. So I'm hoping it's not within the system. I did not start the motor yet, had not even tried to start the motor yet. Um, all we did was find top dead center. So I think we went one complete rotation around um, using a wrench, or excuse me, a socket. And then I primed the oil using an oil primer. So I don't think there should have been any male, sha male shavings, um, metal shavings from me. I don't think so. If y'all think there should be or could be, let me know. I'm open to suggestions, okay? Um, trying to figure this out myself because if I start this and it ruins my motor, I'm screwed. Because one, I think the warranty states it has to be installed by a professional, which um, I'm not. And two, I think I've had it long enough that I'm not sure if my warranty is still good because I sat on this motor for three going on four months now before trying to start it. So. I'll have to double check all my paperwork. Like I said, I don't know. That's just what goes through my brain all the time. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, it's a little dark under here. I'll back out so you can see a little bit. This is the underneath of the engine with the oil pan uh, taken off. Now, I got up underneath here with a flashlight. I know it's really hard to see, guys. I'm just showing you. And I inspected everything and could not find a single flake of metal on any part in here. Even the screen. I checked the screen. There were no metal fragments. Nothing that I could see. And that right there ah, is just oil. Did it get on the lens? No, but it got all over the camera. Okay, that's just oil. So, if you see the... Oh, see my finger? Yeah. The oil filter, we're gonna take that off now. All right, I got it positioned so hopefully you can see everything. See, she's just hand tight. Remember, I primed this motor twice, once more successfully than the other time. Okay, it's not overflowing like you would expect, but it's full. I did fill it up before I put it on. Damn it. All right, this pan, wow, I really can't hold on to anything. This pan I cleaned out before I put that oil in there. So if there's any metal fragments, we'll know it's from this, okay? Now, first glance, everything was good. For the oil filter was, I don't see any sparklies. Let's see if I can make some room over here. And do this without spilling it. I'm not used to doing this stuff one handed. I got oil all over my stand here. All right. Slippery. Slippery, slippery. Okay. I am inspecting. And let's get my fingers in the light. I don't see 
anything. We'll, we'll see what it looks like on an HD TV. Now that little thing you just saw was just dirt, that little piece, that black piece, wherever it went. I don't know where it went. Okay. But I don't see any sparklies or shimmers, I guess is the more professional term. Do you guys? If you see something, let me know. Now granted, this has this pan has marks and stuff in it, but I did spray it out and wipe it out. And did not see anything metal-wise in it. Oh, here. It's a better angle. Get more light on it. Sorry if I'm just hovering. Wait a second. What is that? That was a bubble. <laughs> okay, makes me feel better. I thought it was a piece of metal. It's a bubble. Okay, so what does this mean? It means the next step is to cut that open. Okay? All right, guys. What we're going to do here... I just got this little tool off of eBay, 20 bucks, and it's gonna be to cut open the um, oil filter. I've already done a couple passes on it, I just wanna make sure it was gonna work. Uh, the biggest thing is <laughs> trying to keep a hold of the filter. If it's covered in oil like mine is, eh, too tight. Yeah, see, it's not working now because we're covered in oil. I shouldn't have left it sitting there all night. Just give me a second. Gotta be able to grip this sucker. Oh, you know what? I think it was cut in. It is. It's cut into it. That's why it wouldn't go. All right. Let's readjust. Go back to a normal cutting level like that, see? And each time you go around, just tighten it up a little bit. And you keep going until you cut it off. But I screwed up that one spot. Oh, I think we got it. I didn't go all the way, sorry. I got excited. Come on. And I guess you can go both ways on it. Okay, let's do this. Let's take it off and see if it's cut all the way through. I don't think it is. No, she's not. But she's cut through in many places. That just makes it a little harder. Because part of your sides will collapse. I don't think I'm the best person. There we go. I was gonna say, I don't think I'm the best person to do a tutorial on this since it's my first time using it. But it's so easy, a Scott can do it. All right, this is our filter. And if we look inside, I do not see any metal, metal particles or any glitter. There's nothing shimmering, okay? I see what looks like maybe cloth particle or gasket particle not a big one a small one but the key thing is going to be looking in here okay and if we look in here I don't see what is that that's cloth or gasket material I don't see anything guys and that's the first thing I've seen. It's what is that? That is cloth or gasket material. Here's a big piece. What is this? 
has gasket material, if you can see that, or a leaf, one of the two. Most of them are completely empty. I'm trying to show you guys while I do this. I don't know how well it's coming out. What is that? That looks like gasket material. I'm not hitting every single one of them, but I think we get the picture. I think this motor is going to be okay to start. Well, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay guys, I'm going to attempt to film this. I really don't know what you can see and what you can't see. Um, but, if you can see, I got my super scraper. And I'm just going to clean up the surface. Not that it really needs any cleaning. Just to make sure everything's good. Because I did have, um, there was some gasket sealer on the um, oil pan gasket. Or, yeah, on the oil pan gasket and oil pan. Brand new build. And they used quite a bit. I thought you only had to put it like in the corners. But again, I am not a professional. And I don't pretend to play one on TV either. All right, let's get the other side. And if you notice, I'm wearing my hat, so that is yes, that is to keep the oil and the grease out of my hair while I'm laying here. Because I am not on a creeper. I am on straight up concrete. I bet that scraping's annoying sounding. Y'all think it's annoying? Let me know. You know, you guys can feel free to comment on anything. If you don't like the color of my jacket? Let me know. I just like somebody to make comments. I like to respond to them sometimes. Well, sometimes people just make observations. They don't necessarily make a comment that requires responding. But I read all the comments and sometimes I do respond to them if, if it is a question towards me or for me. Okay, that's just putting more on there than it is taking off. Gentleman asked about a light bulb I was using the other day and asked for the link to it and I put it in there. Glad to know I could help somebody. That is too small of an area for the super scraper to get into. So I'm gonna have to use a darn screwdriver. I hate that, but there is no other choice. All right, I hope you guys can see this and I'm not just talking to myself. All right, I got the flashlight up here. We're working right in this area. Let's see, let me get back a little bit, there you go. And you can see there's a lot of gasket maker up here, or sealer, whatever the hell you want to call it. Silicone. I think my flashlight's dying. So much for a rechargeable flashlight, huh? Yeah, it looks weird the way I'm doing it, but it feels better on my arm, thank you. And my hand. I don't think they make a super scraper that small, do they? I'll try and give you all a close-up of this once I get close to done. I would say get one of those darn wheels that you use for uh, removing adhesive on the side of a car, but yet we don't want fine particulates up in our motor, do we? The answer is no. We know we don't. I don't know what else I can get in here to get all these small pieces. Anybody got any suggestions? What worked for you? What didn't? Let me know. These damn glasses are pissing me off. You know, most people when they get older have to wear glasses so they see stuff up straight or up close. I have to take mine off so I can see stuff up close. Now, it's in the 20s again today. 
but luckily we're in this garage, which is insulated, which this feels like having heat compared to being in the other garage, which I accidentally left on the last two days. I had a space heater. Yeah, talk about lucky. One, the electric bill's gonna suck, but two, I didn't burn anything down. Oh, let's move down to this end. Hopefully it's easier. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, there's none on this side and then just a little, 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 little bit on that side. But I can barely see it. Oh, my arm hurts. Let me give it a rest for a second. Ah. Sorry about that. starters covered in oil that's just lovely <clears throat> that's as good as I can get with this I have one more idea what is that Still, that's all we oil. have time for in this video. Just Next, we will have some assistance else. putting everything back together and trying to get it started. Right, can stop so hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Whatever garage, out.